In this session, we're going to look at creating a perimeter calculator. So we'll be looking at creating a basic square, and then we might actually do this circle and using the circumference and 2 pi r to help us do that. So let's get underway. Now, the first part of building any project is actually to place all the objects on the screen. So it's a very good idea to actually do a GUI design so you know exactly what you want to build and how much real estate, how many buttons, and text input areas. So I'm going to start off with something very simple. And for this, you notice that we need an L for a length. We also need an area for W, A, B, C, R, D, and also later on we need a theatre. So there's at least going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight input boxes that we need just to gather the information from here. We're going to need at least one, two, three, four, five buttons on screen and also five output areas. So let's get underway. So one of the first things I'm going to do is actually put a label on the screen. Now a label we can't sign any code to, but it's labels as in what people will see. So one of the very first labels we need is an L. I'm just going to put L and equals to. So you notice that under my text. So when I click off that, you can see that occur. Now I'm just going to copy and paste that, move that into place. And if I was going through, I need an L. And if I'm going to do the rectangle, I need a W. Um, I need, I'm going to paste a few more because I also need an ABC. You notice that I'm not labeling these at the moment. I'm just placing them out. I also need an R and I needed a diameter and also I needed a theater. So there's a whole lot of labels that we can actually do. Now, once that's set up, you notice that the L's here. Well, the next one I needed was a W, so I'm just gonna place a W in here. And so that now changes to a W. I needed an A, B, and C. So I can just go through and change those. So there's an A, B, etc. Now these are labels, they don't have any code associated with them, but they just help us um, see what's gonna go next to the text boxes. I'm just going to highlight them all at the moment and up the top here we've actually got some adjustments so we can actually space them all evenly and if we wanted to we can actually line them all up to the left the same or if we wanted to center them we can do that. So the next thing we need to place on there are some text boxes. Now each one of these requires a text box so I'm just going to copy and paste them down and put them into place. Again. So each of these will have its own corresponding spot. Okay, and I can highlight all those if I'd like. And once again, I can line them up nicely. Um, each um, diagram needed a button. And so there's one, two, three, four, five buttons that I need on screen. So I'm gonna select the button, just put a button on stage at the moment, and just copy and paste that down. Oops, there's button number two. and number five. Now each one of these buttons required an output, so I'm going to need text boxes for those, so I'm just going to put a little text box next to these, and that's where my answer is going to go. And you notice that all I'm doing is copying and pasting at the moment, and I can then go through and label them. So I'm building a GUI at the moment. Okay, so that is done. So we need to actually label, say, the length here. Now I could go through a lengthy process of actually giving each of these a long name. So I'm gonna head down to their name. So under design, their name's got text box one. We're gonna use the Hungarian notation of TXT for text box. But rather than having length in the full word length, I'm just gonna put L for length. Now, the reason for having them all set up, the next one's gonna be W. Now you notice that the Properties panel hasn't moved, so I can just go TXT, W. And I can click on the next one and go TXT, A, and so forth, going all the way down. So I'll leave you to put all the correct letters in there and also label all the text boxes. I'll just work with the um, length to start with in this video, and then we'll have a look at something like working with Pi. Now, once I've done that, we then have the output area. So once again, I'm gonna come over here and label the first one. Now the first button was actually the square. 
So I'm going to call this txt square for the output. And you notice that I'm using camel case, lowercase, and then the next word capital. The next text box is going to be txt rectangle. And then we have a triangle. So once again, this will be txt triangle. We've got txt circle. And then the last one's txt arc. So now we need to label our buttons. Now the buttons have two parts. One is the face text where button one is written and the other is the button itself. So at the moment they all have a naming such as button one. We're gonna call this one BTN, which is short for button. And the first one's gonna be square. Okay, and now on the face of the button, we're looking for the perimeter. So I'm gonna scroll up and rather than just call it button one, we're just gonna call it square. And when I click back out, you notice it's changed its name now. So the next one, its name's gonna be rectangle. And its name is gonna be BTN rectangle. And notice that every object has a unique part. So this is TXTL, this one's TXT square. This is BTN square. Labels don't actually have any names because we are only using them as a display part. So once we get down to triangle, we can then um, give it BTN triangle. And I want to go down the bottom and we'll use this one here and I'll give it a name BTN circle and change its name to circle. Now, if I want to change the colors, etc., I can always go up the top here, click in here and change its fonts, etc. And colors can be found under the color control. And I can go to custom and pick different colors if I want to jazz up the buttons, etc. I might just change that one maybe to a indigo. So you can actually make your GUI interface a little bit nicer and I'll wait until the end of your programming to do that. So this gives you the ability to name objects on the stage. I'll leave you to complete it for the rest of this section, but doing the square, the rectangle, the triangle, the circle, and the arc, and then we'll be ready in the next video to actually code this.